What do these three pens have in common? All three of them are special editions limited to Japan. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get pens like this, even if you don't live in Japan. This is the Leonardo Memento Zero Aqua Serenade, which is limited to be sold only in Japan. This video is a collaboration with Foodafan. Jacob and I were discussing about how many messages we get from people asking us to get them pens. We thought passing on the information on how someone can get one of these pens would be useful, so he wrote a blog post. I'll link his blog post in the show notes, but you're probably going to want to bookmark it because it's just chock full of all kinds of useful links. This pen is still available for sale. This is Tag's Kyo no Oto 5th Anniversary Pen and is no longer available. This video follows the exact same order as Jacob's blog post. And stay tuned, at the end I'm going to throw in a couple interesting Etsy links with Japanese products. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we're going to check out are websites that actually ship overseas. And the ubiquitous Amazon is going to be our first. This is Amazon.jp. And as with all the other sites that I'll be showing today, you need to look around for the flag or something that tells you to select English. Most of the sellers don't ship overseas, so to keep you from scrolling through pages and pages, you need to select International Shipping Eligible. The shortcoming to this is that it's mostly just like Western pens and I think things from Wancher. But we've got a workaround for that later in the video. Here's a pen that a lot of people ask about and it was in the International Shipping Eligible section. But after putting a stateside address in there, it didn't work out. Here's another popular pen set. And it did work out and it can be sent outside of Japan. And the yen is pretty weak right now and this price right here is a lot cheaper than when it first went on sale a couple years ago. This Sailor Converter looks a little different than the ones I'm used to. This can be sent overseas and the converter is a little under $4, but then you'll be paying about $14 to have it shipped. I was curious about it, so I got one. So I'll let you know if it's kind of the normal um, Sailor Converter or something weird. Next is the ever popular store, Bungu Box. And as always, look around for the little English button. In Japan, the word original is used to mean like a store exclusive or something that the store has made themselves. So whenever you're looking around at these websites, look for the word original when you want their limited edition, special edition for that store. This is their dandelion pen from a few years back. Bungu Box makes some of the best special editions mainly because Kaoru-san has really good taste and she always makes a special finial and a special nib. They also have a line of original or store exclusive inks. It has a unique box and a unique bottle. But the best bang for your buck is pens or small desk items. Ink tends to be heavier and then uh, many times a company cannot use the normal government postal system because they don't take liquids. So you'll have to go with a more expensive shipping option. They also have their original Machier converters, which are pretty interesting. They tend to be the Platinum converters of the Pilot Con 70. This is their Machier Twisby Echo. They generally have some sort of Machier Echo on their website, but right now they don't have any. So I'd like to emphasize on all these sites, you need to go back and check, because many times their special editions will sell out very quickly, but they'll restock them or put up another one. Special editions sell out really fast and so you need to go back and check because sometimes they'll restock or have a different kind. A wonderful place for really beautiful ebonite pens is Eboya. They are the makers of the Japanese Nikko ebonite. Here you can see the different colors there on the top part. And all of their pens are made from this. This is their Hoga in Shinkai Blue. 
One of the things about Eboya's ebonite is that it's really shiny. I have different pens from different makers made of ebonite, but there's nothing as shiny as Eboya ebonite. Whenever you go to a pen show, you can always see their salespeople over there shining up the ebonite. The pens come with 14 karat gold Bach nibs. And their instructions and shipping is very straightforward and easy to understand. This is their Hakobune model with a Bokumondo rod in and Ichime finish. I'll link up my Bokumondo video here. Hakase makes high-end custom pens of exotic materials. And here you can see on the left hand side, make sure you click that English button to stay on the English version of the website. And they have a straightforward, easy to understand ordering and shipping system. Many of you will know about Kakimori because of their dip pen. They've made a system where you can have a handle and then you can attach on a dip nib, a stainless steel nib, a brass nib, or a glass nib. They sell a variety of their own pens and their own inks, which are pigment inks and notebooks. I'll link up the video I did on their store. Their stockist page is useful in that you can see what stores in your country carry their products. Most people know Nagasawa because of their Monogatari inks. They've been around since 1882. They have their own set of original inks. Here's their latest one. Here's their latest original fountain pen. Notice the finial with their bottle of ink on it. This is another store exclusive called the Gearske. That comes from Sailor Pro Gear and Skeleton, with skeleton meaning a demonstrator. All the trim is this kind of gunmetal gray with Nagasawa on the cap band. Their store insignia nib of 21 karat gold. And even the converter is that gunmetal gray. It's still available on their website. Pella Penna carries a lot of Japan only pens. What you're looking for is for Japan only, not necessarily exclusive agency or sole agent. This is the pen that I showed earlier and you can see it says for Japan only. Nowadays, almost all of the fountain pen websites here in Japan carry some form of glass pens. If you're looking for a glass pen, these websites might be a good place to check them out. As a heads up, this is the product list drop down menu. There's three places to check for glass pens. This one, this one under brand list, it's Grass, Kaoria, Gurikobo, and Kokeshi. And then there's Hario on the bottom. Sometimes you just have to spend time meandering around the website. They also have the Hario ink pot. You can put ink in the bottom, but it's basically that little compartment in the top you can put ink in so you can add additives or change colors of ink. Everyone needs to take a look at Tag. They're such an iconic company. They had the anniversary pen earlier that I showed with the bird on the nib. And their English button is on the bottom left. And of course, if you can't find the translate button, you can just use Google Chrome and right click to translate. They have glass pens and a large selection of Grafilo paper. They have collections of these tiny bottles of ink. And they have these triangular boxes of glitter glue ink meant for dip pens and also these little ink puddles. And their line of Fumisome inks are made of all natural ingredients. I think the green ink is made out of caterpillar poop and their brown ink is made out of cedar, and this one is made out of indigo. This cute little store is Tokyo Pen Shop Quill, and I'm going to do a video about that in the future. It's pretty cool. The main thing to get on this website is Pilots 823 in clear, not the translucent brown or black, and you can get it with an FA or WA nib. It's some sort of special setup they have with Pilot. Apparently you can just use their inquiry form and email them and ask them about what their availability and then they will ship it to you. This is a Wagner Pen Club 
10th anniversary, 3776. Wagner is a pen club here in Tokyo. It's named Wagner because the gentleman that heads it up, Mr. Mori, likes pelicans and one of the original founders of Pelican was Wagner. They put out special editions of pens and they're very coveted. Here's another cool nib shot from Fudifan's blog posts. You can contact Mr. Mori on the link on Fudifan's blog post and you can use English and ask him about his special edition pens even though Mr. Mori makes me struggle with my bad Japanese. <laughs> And here's one of their special edition pilots from 2014. It's got a killer nib. The other club is the YY Pen Club. The YY stands for Yasashi Yukaina, which means friendly and enjoyable. They're based out of Osaka, but they put on the Kobe Pen Show. You can contact them by email in English to see if you can get one of their club exclusive pens. Here's a past one, and it's got a killer nib. Jacob and I decided to split the next resources into two groups, proxies and forwarding services. With a proxy service, you have the item shipped from the website to the proxy service here in Japan. And then from there, they ship it to you internationally, so you're paying an extra shipping fee to get to you, along with their service charge. The difference with a forwarding service is that you can ship from multiple companies. So you can like order from Pelapene and Pentonoto and Hachimonjaya. And then it all goes to that one address there in Japan. And it's kind of like a warehouse and you have a time frame anywhere from like 20 days to 45 days, depending on the company, to order all these different things and then gather it up and then ship it to you in one box. So the difference is that you can order from multiple companies and you have a little bit of a time frame to work with. From what I understand, people from Europe need to be careful because through these forwarding and proxy services, they're very strict with the customs tax and I think it's pretty onerous. For proxy services, we have White Rabbit Express, Baie, and Zen Market. On Jacob's post, he has some links directly through Zen Market and Baie for particular products. I found the most simplest and straightforward one to use if you only wanted to buy one product was White Rabbit Express. Here's a pen from the website for the store and Cora. I basically copy paste the web page name, the product name, the quantity, and the price. And they total it up and then you pay that and it gets sent to you. I felt like Baiyi was the easiest to use if you wanted to use Yahoo, Medicati, Rakuten, or Amazon. You needed to add on an extension, but that was pretty straightforward. This made a lot more things on Amazon available. The forwarding services that Jacob has listed is Blackship, Buy and Ship, and Tenso. All of them are pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand, and written in English. And Black Ship has a tie-in with White Rabbit Express. And once you've figured out which service you want to use, Jacob has listed a boatload of different websites that you can order off of. Some with a direct uh, link from either Zen Market or Baiyi. Now here comes the really ugly part the second-hand sites. Jacob kind of has this inner little old lady that wants to get the best bargain at the flea market. He says things like, I got a platinum music nib for only 9,000 yen on Medicati. eBay, Medicati, Yahoo, all of them make me want to stab my eyes out. But I'm doing this for you, dear viewer. The first is Medicati, which is probably the most popular amongst our pen club. It seems to me the easiest way to do that from overseas is to go through Baiyi. Jacob has a direct link to Fountain Pens through Baiyi to Medicati. The next is PayPay and then also there's a link directly to the Fountain Pen section of PayPay on Jacob's uh, blog post. The next is Rakuten's Lakuma and that again is used easiest off of Baiyi and he has a direct Baiyi link. 
and next is Yahoo Auctions and that's probably the second most popular used website that's among our club members. That may be best used through Zen Market. My advice to best use these sites is to kind of go there is kind of a fun thing to do. Until you get comfortable with these sites, I wouldn't be looking to make a killer bargain or whatever. It can be a little bit overwhelming working your way through these sites. As promised, here's a couple Etsy sites. I got this one from Adventure Denali. Donica58 makes these really wonderful journals and right now she is making the Tomoa River successor journals. People always ask me about this pen. It's a Kakuno with little tiny Sakura petals on the inside. It's made by a lady whose company is called Deco Kakuno. She occasionally sells these on Etsy and has sold them on Shigeru Inks in the past. Please let me know in the comments what your experiences are on these different websites. Since I live here, I don't actually use them. I just kind of experimented with them. And any good tips you might have, I'll consolidate them and put them in a comment and pin it. And if you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate a like or a share. Thanks.